everybody, Eric with MountainModernLife.com. Well, one question we get all the time is how do we handle the shades in our RV? Uh, and it's kind of a multifaceted answer. So when we first started looking into shades, we were looking at your MCD shades, your linen shades, or your jute shades, but we weren't entirely sure how exactly we were gonna handle the windows. We were still flirting with the idea of possibly putting a wood frame around all of them, bringing in that rustic vibe, um, or just going with a different tile blind or something like that. So as we pushed forward, we considered our different options, uh, and we started up front uh, by our windshield and the driver and passenger side windows. And one thing that we realized right away is that our windshield was extremely wide. So we were gonna need a custom option for that. And then that's when we teamed up with blinds.com and we got our custom windshield and driver and passenger side window shades done by them. Uh, we couldn't be happy with them. We love the way that they turned out. However, once we had those all finished, we still had eight other windows in the RV that we needed to handle. So we pushed forward and we considered uh, multiple different options, still not knowing exactly what direction we were gonna go. And then all of a sudden, time to hit the road creeped up on us. So we needed something fast and budget friendly before we hit the road and got out there because we didn't wanna be driving around with no window coverings. So we ended up cruising to Lowe's and we got the Levelor brand, which uh, if you don't wanna go to Lowe's, you can also get them from Amazon and other places as well. But the convenient thing that Lowe's offered was that they will actually cut them down to size for you in store at no additional fee. So we were able to measure all of our windows, head in there and get all of the shades at once. Now they do offer a couple different varieties of styles like light filtering, blackout, uh, different options. We actually went with light filtering for most of the living areas. And then in the bedroom, we went with the blackout shades. Now, the thing is, is what's really important to us is that we wanted to make sure that when the shades are down, we were able to actually still get some of the light in because, you know, we actually bought this RV because of all the windows and all the light that it was going to be able to bring in. So we needed that to be a factor. And these shades absolutely do that. They do let the light in while at the same time still not letting anybody see in if you have them closed. Now, with all that said, there are a couple uh, things about the shades that you should know. Um, one is that when we first got them all into the RV and we took them out of the plastic wrap, they smelled like beach balls. Uh, yes, the, the balls you throw around at Major League Baseball games or at the beach, exactly like that. Um, now, after about a week, that smell did go away, but uh, it was kind of concerning in the beginning because we didn't know if it would ever go away. Uh, but if you do go this route, know that the smell will disappear. Um, another thing is that the mechanisms aren't uh, as high quality as say you're going with a more expensive blind and uh, sometimes uh, you have to kind of work with them a little bit. Uh, real quick, I'll pull it down for you and we'll see if it'll show you, show you what it does. <laughs> So generally when you pull it down, it generally does stick where you stop pretty well. Now the concern is when it goes up, is it going to go all the way? Is it going to go halfway? Who knows? Let's see what happens. See, now that time we got lucky. It went all the way up. And uh, you know, it's kind of a 50-50 bargain. You never know what you're going to get. And so it'll stop about halfway down such as that so then you just need to pull it down again and snap it back up into place which like i said these roller mechanisms can be a pain but there it is um anyway so that was embarrassing but the thing is is that's what you have to deal with with these roller shades um, now with the brackets that come with these shades they're also very easy to use as well uh, they do come with nails now if you plan on moving your rv the nails probably aren't going to work because as you're driving down the road you're going to hit vibrations uh, different things like that we actually tried leaving one up with the nails uh, for our first journey just to see what happened and uh, it fell so uh, we didn't stick with the nails for the rest of them or that one once it fell we actually went with small little screws and screwed right into the wood paneling now the shades aren't very heavy so if you do use the screws uh, you don't necessarily use anchors or at least or you don't need to use anchors at least that's what we found uh, however if you find yourself putting your shades up and you feel anchors are a better option go ahead and do that just use your best judgment uh, but overall if you're looking for a budget friendly shade uh, that you need in your rv and you need something to cover your window we definitely think that uh, these shades get the job done uh, in the future, as we move forward, if we do decide to do a wood frame or build some sort of custom shade cover, we may switch it up and go with something different. If we do, we'll let you know. But uh, for the time being, we're extremely satisfied with these. 
Now, for your front windshield, I did mention earlier that we teamed up with Blinds.com because we wanted the custom option that fit the whole windshield. Um, there are other options as well. Let's say if you want to go with the leveler for all your windows and you want to do your windshield, you can always get two different ones cut down and have two shades in the front. Uh, that was an option me and Katie were toying with for a while. Uh, so just something to keep in mind there. Uh, but overall, like I said, we're extremely happy with all of our shades in the RV. They all do exactly what we want. But if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, definitely feel free to leave them below. Um, I, do want, I do want to actually mention one more thing before I get off of here. So with the different shades uh, and the different price points, generally there's going to be different weavings and different materials that you get as you go higher in price. So one thing about these shades that we noticed almost immediately is we feed the cats right down here. So a lot of times when they're done eating, well, one of our cats, Kobe, he will reach up to the shade and start scratching at it, trying to cover up his food. And uh, a couple times he has poked one or two little holes in here. It's nothing too crazy, but uh, just something to note there that they're not the thickest material uh, as well. Um, but just wanted to let you know that also, because if you do go this route, I do want you to know what you're getting into. Um, but other than that, that about wraps it up for our shades and our RV. I really hope that uh, if you were looking for shades that this helped give you an idea or at least pointed you in the right direction for how to go about it in your RV. Uh, but like I mentioned earlier, if you have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you much for swinging by and we'll see you guys again soon.